Hello everyone, welcome to the Python lecture and in this lecture I am going to discuss about uh, NOT operator. So I have already discussed about AND operator, OR operator and XOR operator. Now this is a time to talk about NOT operator with again multiple example. So fine guys, let's move ahead and uh, here I am going to write NOT operator. Okay, fine. Let's suppose if I am going to do this uh, tilde of 12 or 21, that's fine. So let's suppose if I'm going to do tilde of 21, it's going to give me minus of 22. Yes, it is going to give me minus of 22. Let's suppose if I'm going to give a tilde of uh, 4, it is going to give me minus 5. So how system is trying to perform this calculation internally? Let's try to understand. So I'll try to explain you with respect to a positive number as well as with respect to a negative number. I'll try to take both the situation and then I'll try to explain it to you. Okay, fine. So here, what I will do is, I'll try to draw first of all this NOT table. NOT table is one of the easiest table. So if there is an input A, there will be an output. So if input is 1, output is going to be 0. If input is 0, output is going to be 1. So NOT is nothing but just a negation, just a negation of this one. Now here, if I have to calculate what is a, right, if I have to calculate what is basically a negation or not of this 4, how I will be able to do it. So first of all, I have to use this bin to convert it into its this binary equivalent, okay. So 4 is a decimal, so I am able to convert it into a decimal binary equivalent, okay. So once I am able to do it, what is next? So next part is, I'll try to show you a manual calculation. So let's suppose we have 4. I'll try to represent this entire 4 in a 32 bit of representation, okay. So if I'm going to represent this 4 into a 32 bit of representation, so what I'm supposed to write? So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then 1, 0, 0. So this is a 32 bit representation of what? 32 bit representation of 4. Okay, that is done. Now I have to find out a negation of it. This is the positive number. So I have to find out a negation of it. So wherever I have 0, I'll try to replace it with 1. And wherever I have 1, I'll try to replace it with 0. Simple. So what is the negation of 4? So negation of 4 is going to be 1, 0, sorry. Like I said, so wherever we have 0, place it with 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 1, 0, 1, 1. Now this is the negation of 4. This is the negation of 4. But as you can see over here, that this can't be a final outcome. I can't go and directly convert this particular number into its decimal equivalent. That is not going to be my final outcome. Why? What is the reason? Because the very first bit is what? The most significant bit is what? It's 1. So if it is 1, what it is trying to represent? It's trying to represent a negative number, right? It's trying to represent a negative number. So it is telling me that the final outcome is going to be a negative number. So if it is a negative number, what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to find out a 2s complement for this particular number. And that is the number which is going to be my final number. So I think we all know how to find out the 2s complement I have shown you thrice in my previous lecture. Yes. So here, if I'm going to find out a 2s complement, so first I'll try to find out 1s complement. What is 1s complement? 1s complement is just reverse of it. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 1, 0, 0. This is what? This is basically 1s complement. Now, what is going to be a 2s complement? 2s complement is going to be add 1 over here. This is going to be my 2s complement. So, 0 plus 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And in rest of the places, it is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
zero 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 zero. Now this is the final number that I have, but with what kind of a sign? This is not going to give you sign to as complement, right? So what is the sign? So sign is basically denoted by a first significant bit, right? And that is one. It simply means that that whatever number it is going to give it to me, it is going to be a negative of that, right? So this is the final outcome with a negative sign. Let's try to convert that number into its binary equivalent. So here I can write 1, 0, 1 and then I can write base is equals to 2. Now it's 5. So 5 is an outcome but with negative signs. So this is something that we are able to receive. I hope this is making sense to all of us. We, are, we all are able to understand what is and how we can try to find out basically a not of any given number. And if I'm getting a negative number, then what is the meaning of it? I'll try to show you one more example with respect to a negative number. So negation of, let's suppose, I'm going to write 13. So what is the negation of 13? Negation of 13, sorry, negation of minus 13, I'll try to show you. Yes. So what is the negation of minus 13? It's going to be positive 12. Again, focus on sign. It is going to be a positive 12. So let's do a math. Let's try to do a calculation for uh, this particular operation. So let me delete everything, guys. Okay, delete it, delete, delete, delete. It takes time all the time for me. My rubber is very, very small. Okay, so negative 13. Yes, negative 13. Now I have to find out a negation of negative 13. So what is a binary equivalent of 13? First of all, I'll try to find out. This is the binary equivalent of plus 13. Okay, that's fine. I'll try to represent this one into a 32-bit format. So here, 13, and I can represent it into a 32-bit format. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and then 1, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 1, 0, 1. Now this is 32 bit, 4 byte. We are able to represent. So this is 13, not minus 13. My input was what? My input was minus 13. So how system will be able to store minus 13? So it will try to find out for one is complement first of all. So what is the one is complement? Negation of this. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 1, 0. This is first one is complement. Then 2 is complement. Right? So what is the 2s complement? Just add 1 over here in this 1s complement and that is going to give you 2s complement. So I'm just adding 1 in 1s complement. So 1 plus 0, 1, then 1, then 0, then 0, rest is going to be same. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? Now this is technically a representation of minus 30. This is a representation of minus 13 internally inside a system. And on this, it will try to do the operation. What operation? Obviously, this negation operation, not operation it is going to perform. So if I'm going to perform a not operation on minus 13, what is the outcome? So 1 will become 0, 0 will become 1. Simple. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay? 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, this is my final outcome. I don't have to do any conversion. Why? Because the what is the most significant bit? Most significant bit, the very first bit of this 32 bit is basically 0. 0 means what? This number is a positive number. So if it is a positive number, system is not going to do a complement of it and then store it. System will try to store it directly, right? So this is the final outcome with a positive sign because the first significant bit is positive means 0. If it would have given me as a 1, in that case, obviously, I have to find out the 2s complement. But in this situation, I don't have to do or I don't have to find out a 2s complement at all. Okay, fine, guys. So what I will do is I'll just try to convert this 1100 into its uh, 
binary sorry decimal equivalent one one zero zero and then here i can write base is equals to two execute and i'm able to get 12 positive 12 yes it's a positive 12 this is the answer which i was able to receive this is the answer which i was able to receive so with this i believe i'm able to explain you how not operator is going to be implemented in bitwise operation hope all of you are able to understand with a neat and clean and clear example so just try to take some numbers and try to do some sort of a, you know the same thing try to replicate it in your system in your copy and pen and you will be able to understand it for a lifetime with that thank you so much everyone see you again in my next lecture